Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on my January 2021 bullet journal setup. Um, as you can see, I'm using an Archer and Olive A5 notebook. It's one of their limited edition Halloween designs. It's got holographic edging and a nice holographic raven on the front, which I thought was really pretty. So for this month, I was really inspired by the Pacific Northwest. I have lived in the Pacific Northwest for quite a lot of my adulthood, and I really enjoy the beauty and the nature of the Pacific Northwest. So I really wanted to capture that in my bullet journal. The rest of the setup is pretty complex, so I wanted to keep the cover page pretty minimal to kind of balance it out. So I just did a nice kind of geometric, uh, mountain landscape with a silhouette of a wolf howling at a moon on the cover. I'm using my Micron 08 to outline and fill in that wolf. And then I am using a Tombow marker to color in the mountains a little bit later. I also decided to add a little bit more dimension into the drawing by using my silver acrylograph pen from Archer and Olive to add some trees in the distance. Uh, then I came in and decided I wanted some texture in the cover, so I just ripped up a little bit of the craft paper from my Archer and Olive Neapolitan notebook and pasted that in and then wrote January on the with the same silver acrylograph. I know it's a little hard to see in the video, but um, it does actually look really nice against the craft paper. It creates a nice little bit of shimmer. Moving on to the quote page, I went with the quote, the world is big and I want to get a good look at it before it gets dark by John Muir. The reason I went with this quote is because in 2020, I was really expecting to be able to go places, maybe travel, and obviously that didn't happen. Um, so something I would like to do in 2021, if the pandemic allows, um, is to go somewhere. I've lived in the Pacific Northwest for a lot of my adulthood, and I haven't gotten to travel much. Um, and I love the Pacific Northwest, but I want to see more of the world. I want to see everything that I can before, well, before it gets dark. <laughs> um, so I used a Tombow and a boldly colorful marker and kind of blended them together to create that gradient effect on the word big. And then later down below I colored in the box around dark and used the same silver acrylograph for the word. Moving on to the next page, uh, this is my monthly calendar spread. I like to have a lot of room in my calendars, so I tend to use both pages for a calendar spread. Uh, the boxes are six by six squares, giving me a lot of space to write, uh, any appointments or anything like that. 
So you can see at the top I just used a simple cursive font for the title and then a ruler to draw out the lines on the calendar. And then in the top right corner, I decided, um, I, so I have a Twitch channel that I stream bullet journal and gaming things on that I've been working on for a lot of 2020. And then my YouTube channel, which this is my first video. So I wanted to kind of see how those grow throughout the year. So at the beginning of each month, I'll just write in, um, my followers on Twitch and my subscribers on YouTube and kind of see how my monthly progress is going. So I just drew little symbols to signify what those numbers are going to mean. And then after that I wanted to add some of the signature pine trees of the Pacific Northwest. Um, the evergreens that you see everywhere in all of the super aesthetic pictures of the Pacific Northwest. So. I just highlighted the top and wrote the numbers in for the calendar up there. And then I decided I didn't like how January was blending into the page, so I gave it an outline. My hand was a little shaky for some reason, so it didn't come out perfect, but I just filled in the extra space with uh, that same color. Um, and then I decided I wanted to draw an orca because orcas are pretty common here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, so I just drew a fin sticking up out of what would be water and then drew the shoreline with a couple more of those trees to kind of tie everything together. Uh, moving on to the habit and mood tracker, I did lose a little bit of footage here, so you'll see it jump in just a second. There it is. Uh, but I didn't lose too much, so I just uh, highlighted the titles of each habit. I track 12 habits a month, so I tend to not have a lot of space for extra doodles and things like that on this page, so I just try to make it tie in with the colors of the spread itself. So uh, I went ahead and outlined all of the calendar silhouettes to give it that shape, but I hate writing 1 through 31 12 times, so I tend to just leave them blank and then fill them in as if they were individual calendars. And then for some reason I decided I was bored using a ruler and decided to freehand it, which was not a good idea, but that's okay. Boop, and there you go. Like magic, all of my habits are on there. Uh, moving on to the mood tracker, I wanted to kind of keep the actual aspects of the mood tracker fairly simple and make the deer the prominent fixture of the spread. So I just went with some pine trees as the actual tracker part. I went in and um, outlined the deer and then went back with my Tombow markers to give it some color. Um, I'm pretty new at drawing animals so he didn't come out exactly the way I wanted him to but I think he came out pretty good for my first time drawing a deer. Um, 
tried to mimic the look of fur by using kind of shorter strokes in some places with my Tombow, and then I went back in with a darker brown to give it a little more depth and dimension, um, leaving some of those white spaces, and then I went in with my white gel pen to add some shine and highlight to him. After that, I just finished outlining the rest of the trees and numbered them 1 through 31 and made a key at the top right of the spread. Moving on to my productivity tracker, this is an idea I have got from a different YouTuber and I'll have to link the video down below because I can't remember the name right now off the top of my head, but basically the idea is you track the productive things that you did each day as if it were kind of a leveling system. Uh, and I really like this, my depression and my ADHD have been really bad throughout the course of 2020, so I wanted to kind of give myself a kick in the butt and start really facing up to how productive I'm really being each day, and I thought this would be a great way to do that. So the idea is basically each row is a day, and you have four levels, so in each square whenever you do something productive, you add the little icon in the square, and the idea is to see how high of a level you can get throughout the day by doing productive things. So I have, mine's a little different than the original. Um, I don't have a plan section, which you'll see if you watch the other video. Mine is just levels one through four. Uh, and then I added a little key in the Dutch door in the center. And I just included things like folding my laundry, cleaning my bathroom, cooking, going grocery shopping, um, spending time with my partners, um, doing D&D &D prep, since I do run a D&D &D game, uh, doing art, streaming, and then I added a little section for YouTube for this year, which is filming and editing my videos, because those take up a lot of time. And I just noticed I didn't cross the T on tracker. Don't worry, I fixed it in the final flip through. So it'll be correct in the flip through. Uh, moving on, I decided to do a playlist spread. This isn't something I normally do, but I have a weird obsession with building Spotify playlists. Um, so I thought it would be a fun way to kind of give you guys a bit of insight into what music I listen to while I'm planning and drawing out my spreads. So if you want to link to that Spotify playlist, it is going to be in the description box down below if you want to check it out. Um, some of the songs I just included on the spread are The Things We Used to Share by Thomas Sanders, Supernova by Cat Cunning, Midnight Love by Girl in Red, uh, Long Story Short by Taylor Swift, and a few others. So if you want to get a look at the full playlist, uh, it will be linked down below. And then I went ahead and just cut out the album covers for each one and pasted them in. 
I didn't realize when I was planning this spread, but the album covers actually cover up the little play and fast forward icons that I drew in, which was fine by me because I didn't really like them anyway, so it worked out. Um, but yeah, so I just used my little uh, tape tool and taped those in to give the spread a lot more color. And then just to finish off the spread, I used the same green that I've been using to give it a little bit of an outline and tie it into the rest of the setup. Uh, moving on, I went ahead and just drew out a really simple mountain landscape, kind of like the cover page for my brain dump. I tend to just use one page, so I left it pretty simple. Uh, moving on, I went to my YouTube tracker. This is a new spread for me, but something I feel will probably be pretty necessary just because I want to make sure that I know when and how I'm supposed to be posting my YouTube videos. So uh, I wanted to be able to have a space to plan where those are going to go. Um, in the middle, I decided to draw a uh, monkswood, or more commonly known as wolfsbane. It is a plant that grows here in the Pacific Northwest. I thought it was fitting, seeing as the cover page had a wolf on it, um, but then I learned that they are a shockingly hard plant to draw. So, <laughs> um, and then because the month starts off with two days at the end of the week, I decided to just put those in on the other side. The last spread of this setup is going to be the first weekly spread. I kept it pretty simple and low-key. I just outlined seven boxes, um, four on each page, and then alternating colors. I wrote the header in the tops. Um, I decided to draw a little bear. There are bears in the Pacific Northwest. I've never seen one, but I know they live up here, so I thought it would be fun to include another animal in the setup. Um, and he kind of fit perfectly there walking on the, the Monday, so I used pretty short little strokes to kind of mimic the fur like I did with the deer, but I wasn't really liking how it turned out, so I decided to just color him in completely, and then obviously there are some little like white spots making it look a little bit more kind of sketchy and rough. Um, then I wrote in the little calendar at the top and the words week one. Um, since this is the first week of 2021. So yeah, this is the final flip through. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I will do all of the other weekly spreads as videos, and then each month I will be putting up a video. Uh, if you have anything else you want to see from me, please let me know. I'm planning on starting a collection bullet journal, so if you want to see videos um, of me designing and drawing out spreads for that, I can absolutely do that. Otherwise, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!